my name is Tina. I thought I would just quickly do a go live and try out uh, YouTube because I do have a channel here on YouTube and I have some people who reach out and ask questions after they've seen some of the videos I've put out. Uh, so this topic today, I just wanted to talk about time codes or timestamps in transcription. I do have a few videos about it and some of the videos cover how you can actually do time codes or timestamps in Express Scribe and also with for the record player. So what I'm talking about is when you get to a specific spot within the, the audio or video file, you can copy that, that number, how far in you are, and then paste it into the transcript. And um, clients ask for that for many different reasons, um, just referring back to a specific spot so that they can re-listen in the audio or video and other things like what I'm working on today, the time code is burnt into the video feed itself. So it runs along inside the video. And that's one of the things that I wish ExpressScribe did have as a feature is that I could change the setting from zero to something else. And I know that there are some other um, programs out there, or at least people have told me about them, and I haven't explored using them yet. Um, uh, right now I'm just using ExpressScribe, and then I'm visually looking at that number. Um, the question that came up in a few emails were, what if or how can I take ExpressScribe and tell it to automatically put a code in every 30 seconds or every 60 seconds, something like that. And ExpressScribe does not have that feature. So you can't program it to uh, just automatically put in a time code into your transcript every 30 seconds or every 60 seconds or whatever time sequence you're looking for. And here's a couple of the things that I'm thinking about if, if it did that. If you're typing along and mid-sentence it's 30 seconds in or 90 seconds, whatever, at a 30 second interval, it's going to slap that time code right into the middle of a sentence. And that's not exactly, that's not going to work, at least for me anyway. My clients aren't going to want that time code just randomly shoved into the middle of sentences and paragraphs. When I'm adding in a time code, it's off to the left, and it's usually before the marker of who's speaking, or it could be at a, at a paragraph break. I'll get to a new paragraph, I'll put a time code in the left, and then shift over and start the next paragraph. So for me anyway, um, if ExpressScribe did that, I wouldn't be able to have that just randomly insert anywhere that exact time code because it would break up sentences. Um, another issue that would cause for me anyway is I do sort of proof as I go. So if I'm going along in a, in a sentence and I don't understand something that someone said, I release the pedal and it back, it goes back a few seconds. Then when I went forward again, it would slap that time code in again if it that happened to be in that sequence or that spot. So those two reasons why I don't think that if you could have ExpressScribe automatically insert time codes for you at specific intervals, I don't think that would work. What I have submitted to them, and I highly suggest that if you want a feature in ExpressScribe to go into the tools or the help, actually it's the help tab, and submit it, submit to them, let them know what you're looking for. Um, I submitted that it'd be nice if they had like a soft ping or some type of a little not a loud noise where then you couldn't hear what someone was saying, but some type of a little audio indicator of that time sequence. That would be helpful to me anyway, so that I knew, ding, okay, I just hit the 30 second, 60 second, 90 second mark, and then when it's appropriate, I'll add in the time code myself. Another feature that I wish ExpressScribe had is, like I said, um, today I'm working on a project where the time code is burnt right into the video feed. And so that's the time code I need in my transcript. I can't get that from ExpressScribe because it doesn't start at zero. It's random. And so I am just manually entering that. I will tell you 
that uh, I charge my clients more when I have to add in time codes. Um, I offer it if they really need it um, every five minutes, that's included in the base price. But if the clients um, want it more than that, then um, there is an added fee involved. So you can think of that too when you're pricing yourself for transcripts is if your clients are asking you to do a little something extra, you know, to think about adding in a little extra fee uh, to cover your time that it takes to do those things. Um, uh, if you have any other suggestions of things you'd like me to cover in just regular updated YouTube videos or on the blog or something like that, please let me know. Um, what I'm really trying to do is build in some type of a mini course or a course or some type of webinars, something where everything that you think that you or you feel that you would need to help you with your business um, is in one place. So if um, you would like to send me some suggestions, you can go to my website and um, that would be uh, bombtranscriptionservices.com and then transcription suggestions or actually it's just bombtranscriptionservices.com slash suggestions. Otherwise I have a bit.ly link that might be easier. The bit.ly link is bit.ly forward slash transcription suggestions. If you'd like to just get on the mailing list for updates of uh, any new courses or webinars or things that I'm, I've compiled, you can go to bit.ly forward slash transcription course update. And after this video, I'll go in and add in that information in the description if that is possible. Again, this is my first live. So those of you who did watch, thank and uh, hopefully see you around. Oh, and please, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That really does help me build my, uh, build up my YouTube uh, viewership. Thanks.